Hello and welcome to Just Secure. In our previous video, we reviewed Nord Locker. If you haven't watched that video yet, please click here to watch the video. In this video, we're going to talk about how Nord Locker works. So this is going to be a tutorial. Click the link below to download Nord Locker. When you will click, you will be redirected to the official website. Click Get Nord Locker for free. Download for Windows. And your download will start within no time. Let's open the installation file. Right click on the file and run it as an administrator. Click next and install. And it will be installed quickly. And it's done. Make sure you restart your computer. Okay, after restarting the computer, just click on the icon to start. Click on create new account. Enter your email ID and any password. Then you have to verify your email account. There would be a verification code in your email ID. Just copy and paste the code in the software. Then you have to create a master password for that. Make sure the passwords match each other. Then you will be given a recovery key. Just copy that key and save it at a secure place. Check the terms and conditions and continue. You can take a tour of the software. As you can see, these are your lockers. You can create as much lockers as possible. There is a quick start guide, you can also read that guide for more information. Ok, let's do something with the software. Let us try to create a folder. As you can see, is it as simple as walking in the park? Let me try to add files in it. Let me randomly select any file. And let me drag and drop it into the folder. See, it's quite simple. As you can see, it's up to date. Now, let us try to do something in the personal. As you can see, we can either drag and drop the files or create folders in personal. Let me first copy a folder and then I'm gonna move another folder. Here I selected move. Let us wait for the synchronization. It's actually checking that if the software contains any virus or not. Otherwise, you can save anything. As it's up to date, let us go and check the folder. Either the folder has been moved or not. Let us minimize everything and open the folder. Okay, as you can see, the scripts folder is there which I copied, but the skins folder is not there. Okay, so let me close the software and open again. It will ask me for the password. Of course, I will give the password. Now let me go to the personal and check. The folder is still there, but it has been moved from my laptop. Now it's up to you. Play with the software as much as you can. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your valuable feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching.